Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How are you guys doing this evening? Doing well, man. Ready to talk about a good cigar. Excellente. Phenomenal. So today we are talking about the Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, Trust Red Meat Lovers 2020 edition. Uh, cigars of Toro 6x52 uh, comes out of the Noxa factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrappers Connected Broadleaf, Binders Mexican San Andreas Negro. Filler is from Nicaragua and Pennsylvania. Uh, blended by Steve Saka. Price point is $12. And the cigar was released in December of 2020. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? You know what? It's been so long since I've reviewed a good tasting cigar. I forgot that I was actually reviewing for a little bit. And I smoked it and I was like, this is a good cigar. And I was like, oh shit, I better write about it because that's <laughs> what my job is. You know? I really did think this. I'm not even kidding. This was just last night too. Uh, yeah, this is this is like this is like proper uh, Connecticut broadleaf, in my opinion, right? You got something that is uh, got got the core baseline of something that's like super cocoa based, chocolate kind of a based, you know, backbone. Uh, you got some really nice like earthiness of uh, uh, like roasted coffee beans. You got some minerals coming through, cedar coming through. Um, the first third retro was awesome. It was I had this like cream cherry soft candy kind of a thing going on with baking spices. Uh, finish wise for such a like heavy wrapper, I thought it was surprisingly you know uh, I mean uh, you know and relatively speaking it was pretty refined for what Connecticut Valley typically does. Um, I thought overall strength medium, uh, body medium, so. This is great, man. I, I, I think I might like this more than the, the last year one. God, I sound so like positive. Such a yes, fucking you? fanboy. Oh my god. Mm. God, send me some free <laughs> shit. All right, Seth, what are your thoughts? Listen, I I from the second the cigar exploded in my mouth, yes, that's what she said. <laughs> it was just this dude, the flavors were fantastic. It was chocolate meat coffee there was raisins there was stone fruit i had cream there was leather i, I smoked the first third i was like there's no way Saka blended this because i haven't like a lot of Saka stuff coming out of noxa i was like this is just pure noxa and i've been high on this factory since last year if we look at my reviews remember that dapper yeah. that's yeah. another noxa i'm loving this factory and i'm like there's no way Saka did this thing it's so good um and second, third just kind of delivered those those similar qualities, and it's just it it had depth. It had there's body, there was strength, there was flavors, there was a lot going on. Um, really long finish. I mean, the flavor profile lingers on your palate, but it's one of these things. After you smoke it, you just you want to smoke another one. Um, what what I say was yeah, medium full strength body, really good cigar. All right, John, what were your thoughts? Well, the good news is, first of all, I can say whatever I want because Steve's never going to watch this video. But uh, I, I thought this was also a good experience. <laughs> and um, this reminded me of a lot of the classic stuff that Steve kind of blends for himself. So you get like really medium, medium full uh, body, but it's not overwhelming on the strength profile. And so as June was kind of alluding to is that it's been so long since I've smoked really good broadleaf. Um, it, it just, it's all the goodness and none of the badness, you know, the good leather, not the bad leather, the good creaminess, the good cedar, not the tannic cedar. And although like, like the fresh horse shit, not that's the, right. not the, not the rancid doo -doo. winter yeah. style. It's been sitting there for six months. Yeah. It's fresh. It's pungent. Yeah, it's like, it's pungent. like someone just like, it's like two girls. Uh, okay. Never mind. Um, <laughs> Now, one of the things I will say is that I did I wouldn't call this cigar overly complex, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, to me, it was it was a good cigar that didn't have a lot of over complexity to it, but all the flavors were good. So, in that concept, I was engaged the entire time. And like June was saying, there were times, or maybe it was Seth, where I was like I was smoking, and I just completely forgot I was doing a review because I was having such a good time. And I'm like, right? oh man, this this reminds me of when I used to enjoy doing cigar reviews. Um, <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I mean, you know, like uh, Seth was saying, I, I didn't know this came out of Knox, but that makes a lot of sense because um, you know a lot of the stuff that's been coming out of Knox has been on point. Uh, 
burn was uh, pretty good for me. I, I did have to do a touch up and the uh, draw was a little on the resistance spectrum, about two and a half notches, uh, but satisfying smoke production. So overall, yay, good experience. Aaron, take us away. Yeah, I like how the cigar started. It has nice oak, cinnamon, and mustiness combination. Uh, but as the must, uh, cinnamon kind of morphed to baking spice and then black pepper, uh, the oak gained a bit of a toasted note. Um, the profile kind of came a bit average and kind of maintained that level the rest of the way. Um, construction was great. Uh, just let me, you know, focus on the flavors, um, which is good. Um, I thought this was definitely a step up from last year's. Um, I wasn't a big fan of last year's, uh, but still not something I'm going to come back to regularly. Um, oh, we got ro Robot Aaron. This oh, right. this, uh, this, this segment so brought to you by to Battlestar Galactica. Take I'm it away, back. Aaron. I'm back so close. I'm back. Almost got to it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I might come back to this on occasion, but I just didn't um, get the goodness lasting as long as you guys did. Uh, you know, first third for me, and then it was kind of waning from there. But um, you guys all had great experiences, so maybe I should revisit it and kind of see if I get a, a, lo a longer version of that. But um, yeah, that first third was good. Um, if I could have just had that for another third, man, I'd uh, probably be all over the cigar. All right, let's get into the scores. Start at the top with Seth at 7.07. June at 7.02, John at 6.42, and I was at 6 even. So, uh, Seth, how's that 7.07 matchup for you? I just want to know what, with that 0 0.05, what it did wrong to June, man. It was, uh... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, how, didn't like, didn't like the band. Actually. Let me see. It's, it, I, you guys were flip-flopped on the burn and the draw, and the, the uh, draw has uh, more weight than the burn. Gotcha. We, re we reviewed the Red Meat Lover 2019. Didn't we you? did. And yes, I was, I, I was. I was not kind to that one. I don't remember being big on that. Was cigar. that Naxa? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. May have to look it up. I got, I got it. But yeah, I remember that. Watch being it be Naxa too. Unbalanced. <laughs> yeah, but Saka blended that one. Um, Stone cold. I mean, you can't even. Red meat lovers. This is a good, listen. This was a really good cigar. What do these come in boxes or uh, like little mazos? Mazos of a ten. Uh, this is I think a so. Yeah, yeah. Smoking exclusive. The original five point six. Last year's did come in at an Oxa. Yeah, but it wasn't. Well, Steve, it wasn't pressed. It. it was not pressed. It was round. It was, um, this one was pressed. Yeah, uh, June scored them identical. Wow. Seven oh two for both. Seth, you gave it a five sixty. And I gave it a 505. But I give it. You did not review. review it. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. Too much so of a fanboy. It's. I'll tell you one thing. It's. It, if all they did was press the cigar, it did wonders to it. And for yeah. some reason, it did nothing to June. But listen, I would buy a bundle of these things and smoke them. I buy two of them. I smoke them all the time. These are great. D d smoke it, right? Smoking exclusive. Is that where they have them? Right. Uh, I think it, this one year was a smoking exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and then, I mean, if they want to send me in for free, that's fine too. I'll take that. I don't want to yeah. buy them, but it's, I mean, it's yeah. Go ahead, John. It it is Connecticut Broadleaf, right? Like it's yes. actual. Yeah. yeah. So so the price, like somebody's looking at that. I think it, you said it was twelve bucks. Yep. Yeah. So somebody might look at that and be like, "Oh, twelve bucks, dude." Connecticut Broadleaf is hella expensive. So like when I saw the price, I was like. Eh, but I didn't look at the blend at the time. And now that I've smoked it, I'm like, yeah, if it's Connecticut Broadleaf, 12 bucks makes exactly the right sense. That's how much it costs. Yeah. All right, June 702. Yeah, this is this is great. Um, I will buy these too. I, you know what? In my stash, I have a lot of like variety, but uh, Connecticut Broadleaf is highly underrepresented within my cigar stash. And every time I think about I actually, when I think about buying cigars, what really happens? Because you know what, guys, viewers out there, we get a lot of this shit for free. Just kidding. Because uh, <laughs> we, because we, that we, we influencers. You know what I mean? Right. Totally kidding. We actually buy all our cigars for review. Um, that's that's why we can complain and not face any feed, feedback or wrath. Because like, what are you right. gonna do? Not sell it to us? You can't buy them. I try to get them on smoking in an Air Forty Three. Yeah, I'm sure they're all sold out. Uh, but man, these I this is awesome. This is you know, like I remember last year the Alba Maduros that we like so much. You know, I like these mm -hmm. a lot as well. So um, yeah, I'm really digging this. Like I love a good chocolatey kind of cigar like this. Yeah. All right, John six four two. 
Yeah, man, this is good. Um, and obviously I'm lower compared to the other two guys, but I'm in the same boat. If uh, For 12 bucks, yeah, I'd buy a Mazo of these. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Uh, sadly, of course, as it always goes, I smoke something and then find out it's limited edition. I can't get my hands on it. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> um, no, but this 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 was good, man. It's so nice to... So it makes my life so much easier as a reviewer to just smoke a cigar that's good and then write my notes instead of, you know, try to try to not be a complete jerk hole when I write my summary. Yeah. Yeah, my six even matches up well and was above average flavor profile, really good construction. Uh, but it's just kind of teetering on that. That six even is just teetering on do I smoke more? Do I not smoke more? So, um, yeah, I mean, with the three other guys uh, saying that they all really enjoyed it, obviously, uh, you know, if I smoked another one, I might score a little bit better and enjoy it a bit be a bit more if uh that cinnamon note can just go longer than the first third i love that cinnamon note if you could blend a cigar with that that's, there's, there's a cigar that's coming up that i know is not going to deliver on cinnamon and that's what it's supposed to be doing so we'll see how that just, one goes just tell steve to do the al blend call it the a alc Aaron trust Lewis me cinnamon. you know what you know what would be the you know what would put a company out of business immediately Letting me blend a cigar for them. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true, actually. You're going to have like five guys on the face of this earth that would even be on, on that profile. So <laughs> You're totally committed, though, man. That's <laughs> right. Uh, final thoughts on this cigar from you guys. Loved it. Loved it. Well, I mean, I can I can praise it all day long because, like I said, uh, Steve's not going to watch this video, so it's not going to go to his head. So yeah, he did a he did a fantastic job. I mean, you should if if you have these, you should be happy you have these, and if you don't have these, well, maybe you should think about buying them next time. Yep, exactly. All right, if you just can't this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us, but check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com. Follow us on social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Red meat lovers.